Philo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, right behind me, you see it. This is the warning screen. Don't forget, we do got Patreon. And we also got uh, merch. The link to that is down in the description. Twitch.com. Username is at the bottom. If you want to catch any lives or previous lives, man, get in with me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Talk to me. This is Can't Pay, We'll Take It Away, Season 4, Episode 16. Y'all acted like, we, when I first started watching this, y'all act like it wasn't one of y'all shows. Now the numbers show that this is clearly one of y'all favorite shows to watch with me. Once all the cap is gone, there's just enjoyment. You feel me? <laughs> Research has shown that more than 8 out of 10 young adults in the UK admit to having received financial support from their parents. One in three parents have been under financial pressure as a result of bailing out their adult children. Father and son team Dell and Dale Anglin are High Court enforcement agents. They work across the south of England, enforcing writs and repossessing properties. It's like wacky races down there with the pedal bikes, isn't it? It's 7:30 a.m. They're on their way to Lambeth, South. Boy, they coming to start somebody day off on the wrong foot, ain't they? That's tough. London, with a writ to collect nearly two thousand pounds owed to a storage company. Right, Dale, what we got, mate? Got up. Miss Gemma Moore. You've been here before, haven't you? Yeah, I've been to this address before. Since Dell's last visit, the debt has footed on a payment plan set up for her. Your destination is on the left. Yeah, that's it. This time, the agent need to resolve the case conclusively. So they set arrangement she's going to pay some money. They gave her a few days to pay half of it, and she's going to pay the other half within a month. And when she hasn't done that. She doesn't want to answer her phone anymore, so we obviously we have to come back and at least try and chase it out for the claimant's sake. The she agents are returning to the family home, where the debtor lives with her young baby. I wonder if this is one of the ones we've seen. Morning. I'm looking for Gemma. She's not here. Sorry, Sorry hello. Hello? Sorry? I'm here to speak to Gemma. She knows why can't I? Would you wake up, please? Because we're allowed to come at the time. We've, we've given a bit of discussion, really, because we start at six. I know she's not into it, but we've got a high court where it's got to be resolved. We spoke to her last time. So, hold on, speak to her. Hold on, hold on. No, it's not. It's not your problem, I know, but I'm going to speak to you about it. I'll just keep ringing the bell again. Hey, low-key, if this was uh, Paul, he would have put his foot in there. That's fine. Ah, Listen, I don't want to keep coming here. Listen, I will. Let me speak to her. I'm not trying to... So we can get to cleared up so I don't... Listen, I don't want to keep coming back here. If she comes to the door, we can put it to bed. Get out of my house. No, Listen, what do you do? Get out of my house. We're not leaving. I will call them. Please call them. With a high court writ, the agents are allowed to enter the house through an open door to Tell carry you. out their duties. Get out of my fucking house. Well, starting the day off like this is rough. House. Why are you swearing? Because you're in my house and you're not Why wanted here. Get out. I don't now. want to be here. Get out. I don't want to be here either. I'm going to call them. Go on and please. Call the police. Stand there. If you come over to this house, you're getting arrested. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm definitely you not. Come into my fucking house. <laughs> call the police. You're not are you going to call the police? Me. You're intruding in my house. I thought you were going to call the police. Suddenly, the debtor, Gemma, appears in the hallway. No, I'm not going. I'm no Gemma. I don't know who he is, right? Okay. 
Gemma's brother gets on the phone to the police. Gemma definitely knows what can and what they can and what they can't do. You letting your your brother look crazy right now. Peace. It's a high court writ. I've got it here. It's your sister's copy. I have to give it to your sister. Like this when I finish this, she's got a copy of it from last time. Yeah. Dell needs Gemma to understand why they're back. The reason we're here again is because you said that you was going to pay half of it that week. Well, at the time, I didn't realise that that wouldn't be a possibility. Right. Okay. We were happy to make that arrangement with you. You've not kept your word, and so we're here. The issue we've got now is I don't know what belongs to you in this house no. and what no, hear me up, and what doesn't. Now, if I can't trust your word because I think you're lying to me, I'm going to want to see receipts for everything in this house to, to get this sorted out. As Gemma has defaulted on her payment plan, the items in her home could be seized to pay off the debt. And no cap, you know, coming in as the debt collector, people. You already defaulted once. We're not really trying to hear it. You know what I'm saying? We're not trying to hear it. You, li you lied. You didn't lie. Just the circumstances did not prove to be that which what you said they would be. So here we are. But she thinks a letter sent by the storage company has bought her time. Right. Either they, I can make the arrangement or I have to remove my goods for their women. 22nd of this month? Yeah. That's what the storage people yeah. said. Have you got the letter? Thank you. Then they're talking about disposing your stuff if you don't contact them. The letter is about removal of her goods from the storage unit and not the recovery of the money she owes. The agents are still duty bound to enforce the High Court writ. Have you spoke to them yet? Don't want to say. She about to lose all her stuff and she gonna have to pay these people at the same time. There's your stuff as well. well. When we deal with sort of young defendants, uh, nine times out of ten, uh, they they've totally messed up, made big mistakes. The world's fallen down around them, and you're gonna deal with the high emotions and the shock of us being there inside a family home, and it's not just one person now, it's the whole family. The agents have been at the property for 20 minutes when Gemma's mother arrives home. Is this Hello, the mother? No, we're just talking. No, no, there's not talking in my home. This is my home. She is coming to an agreement, OK, with whoever the storage people that shows the money to. She, Why are you back? Well, she got home? Home. And well, how much were you supposed to pay? He said, well, they wanted, like, I told you, about 800 quid they wanted, but then I couldn't do that, yeah. could I? No. We've been making phone calls to, to, to prevent us having to come back here. We don't want to waste our time and come exactly. back here for no reason. We wanted to do... Home. That's fair enough. This is my Listen, home. I understand that. She doesn't that. live here. I'm... She doesn't live here. I wasn't even here for how long? Six no. days? Yeah. I wasn't even here. She chucked me out. I don't know that. Last time you were here, I said, Was I was that from putting her on sofas? Living on my city for a year. It seems the debt has caused deep family division. Well, Mom, you should have kept her out because they're back. And your daughter can't pay. So guess what's about to happen? They're about to take your stuff away. Unless you know what you're going to have to do. Pay the debt. And Gemma's mother recently made her leave the family home. I've been saying to her, pay that storage, sort out that storage, yeah. sort out that storage. She's got no money. She's got no home. The only thing she's got is the clothes on her back. Okay. With Gemma saying she can't pay, will Dell and Dale ever get lie. the two thousand? Gemma, Gemma's down bad right now. Some pounds they came. High Court enforcement agents Dell Anglin and his son Dale were in Lam. This is just a Sprite, by the way. It's a glass bottle Sprite. Birth, South London to collect £2,000 owed to a storage company. Get out of my fucking house! <laughs> the agents have returned after Gemma defaulted on her. I didn't imagine that word would trust her next time. No, of course not. Well, she's... Oh, cool. Now, the issue... Yeah. Or she... Uh, us. The reason we are back is because Gemma made an arrangement... With you. ...with us right. to sort this out. Now, yeah. if she couldn't do that... Yeah. ..or she... Her circumstances had changed... She should have just given us a call. Now, the issue is, we've got an outstanding matter that's got to be addressed. It needs to be resolved. I need some form of payment because she's broken her word with me. Right? right? Now, if, she, if someone breaks her word with you, are you likely to be able to trust her next time? No, of course not. Well, that's the issue no, I'm at. I did say, give me, give what, you're right. I did say last time, but I haven't actually got it. What she said was she didn't have anything, her stuff was in storage, and she didn't have any work. But then she also said yeah. she'd be able to pay half the by debt Friday. by Friday. Yeah. 
You, that wasn't what you said. You said. No, and then I said I speak to my mum. Did I not say I speak to my mum? Yes, and that you'd pay the payment by Friday. Right. Okay, that didn't happen. Received no phone call. The arrangement's been broken. Uh, the debt doesn't disappear. Dell and Dale must now get the. Hey, Dale just broke it down very calmly to moms. Mom looked like she understand though. She get it. What is this in the window right here though? What is going? What kind of family? What kind of freaky family is this? The case resolved one way or another. Can I can relate? Well, it's one thousand nine hundred forty-five pounds eighty-three pence. I know. Of course she can't. Yeah, My mum would hang me from the nearest pair. You know I, mean? I don't know how you can address that. Because it's a lot of money, yeah, and I don't expect you to sprinkle it out of thin air. Oh, you can set up a direct debit for me. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that today. Yeah. Despite her frustration, Gemma's mother agrees to help her daughter out. So yeah. I can't have this. Do you know what I mean? This is too much for me. So okay. We'll what are we talking up. about then? What do you think you can well, afford? I My bad. How old is Gemma, I said. I said she looks no older than 19, and the way her, she's moving in here is more like 16. But I feel like she know her mom is going to pay the bill. So she's just kind of lingering around like, all right, mom, they're here. Pay the bill. You're going to do it anyway. £100 a month. Let's um, see if it looks like that. In some instances, that is after resort to the bank of mom and dad to help them through difficult times. Your parents will always want to help their kids. That's what most of us do. It's heartwarming to see that. When they do a direct debit from a bank, it's from the bank, like routing number and account number, right? Or however y'all call it out there. Oh. Dale calls the office to see if the claimant will accept the payment plan of £100 a month. This case of hundreds kind of low. Report. Last time she was listed in her mum's house, um, nineteen so months. She doesn't have any assets. While Dale waits to hear from the office, Dale wants to find out more about how Gemma got herself into this situation. It's unfortunate that sometimes when things go wrong, everything seems to go wrong, doesn't it? You know. all the furniture in storage. You know, and it's just. Not bad, not bad. So I have to get out. Can I give you a reference book? So then it all went in storage. Did they evict you? She doesn't sign off. I, 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 I don't know. I know. I know. Well, don't make the baby. Listen. So, um, listen, Gemma, Gemma, don't get upset, darling. Look, look, look. Listen. It'd be sorted today. Listen. I ain't gonna hold you. Gemma is putting on an Academy Award winning work right now. Mom's already setting up the payment agreement, but now this is where you fake the tears. So when these people leave, your mom is on your side still. She gonna be like, okay, it's okay, it's okay. I know what you're doing, Gemma. You're not fooling me. You got the people that won't pay, and those are the people I want. I don't want the people that can't pay and haven't got the means to do so. I mean, we're here, believe it or not, we're here to help. Minutes later, Dale hears back from the office. I can make the £100 a month agreement has been accepted. Well, I need to get back to work. Right. We won't, uh, we, we, what, we'll be gone. What date of the month? £100 starting from what, 1st of May? Is that going to be all right? 1st of May, all right? Yes. First yeah. of all, be fine. Just phone if you've got any doubts or if you even if you just want advice. I don't want the I don't want you to get into this bother again or someone else comes. I'd rather just deal with it in its entirety and then it's done. With the payment plan agreed, the case is resolved for now. Alright, sorry for the no. I would you know what this show would be good in like Texas, Alabama, like it's northern Florida. Like, it, I, I would be very interested to see some debt collectors knocking on doors with cameras in those types of places in America. Especially with melanin. It would make for great TV, honestly. Imagine, in the middle of Texas, me, a debt collector, coming to somebody's door 
talking about you. You got this John Deere tractor that you let go past without paying. Oh, oh, buddy. I'm getting up out of there. I ain't even. I would never even apply for that job in America. Like, why would I do that to myself? I'm not, I'm not good. But no. Cheers. Like it, okay. And this Ugh. is. These are the the differences between America and the UK. This show would never fly. Like, in certain areas, like, ain't no way. In all of America, ain't no way. You know what I'm saying? Imagine somebody of n n no melanin going to the South Bronx trying to re recoup a debt. Even if you got, like, just imagine a debt collector in in South Side of Chicago. Like, get out of here. This would never, ever fly. Not such a bad job, eh? I sort of feel sorry for, for, for her because she can't be nice not to not to have somewhere of your own. But at least her family are there, they stick by her, it's good, it's good to see. In the last 15 years, the number of new businesses in the UK has increased by 50%, with sole traders being at the forefront of this surge in growth. However, more than one in three small business owners take home less than £100 in income each month. Thir 130... Oh, yeah. 130,000 businesses were dissolved in the first quarter of 2016. Just now, in the first quarter of 2014, mine was involuntarily dissolved. My, my business... I had to pay a three hundred and seventy-five dollar fine to re to do the paperwork to get it re re redone. You know what I'm saying? To get it to get what's the reinstated? There you go. To get it reinstated. The it for, honestly it was the the worst mistake that I ever made. Like how did I even let that happen? Hurt. <laughs> I was hurt, but I paid it though. It's back. High Court enforcement agents Gareth Short and Craig Vernal work across Wales and the southwest of England. Okay, so we're off to Worcestershire next, mate. Right? Yep. Down to. Uh, okay, so we're off. Excuse me. We are four and a half seasons in. Who are you guys? Never seen you, and I don't believe that you can do this job well. You gotta prove it. I'm not on your side with any uh, with anything. <laughs> to Worcestershire next, mate. Right? Yep. Down to uh, a company called Egg Media UK Limited. The and company sells company? dresses online under the name of Want That Dress. It owes a large debt to a parcel delivery company. It's 45,673. The agents have already visited the company's business address without success. No 45 bands? How? Notice of enforcement has been sent to the home of its director, Sonny Poole, and now the agents are on their way to recover the debt. Let's so have a look at Somebody's in. There's movement inside the house, but no one's answering. Oh. Gareth and Craig turn detective. Boxes here, mate. To want that dress. The date on this as well as the 11th of April, so it's traded recently. Yeah. With company parcels being delivered to the director's home address, the agents are suspicious that he may be trading from here. Hello, enforcement agents, you can open the door, please. Oh, yeah, High Court Enforcement, okay. High Court Enforcement Agents, we have. Looking for the owner or the director of it. they walk straight in. Well, okay. I might be in a, I'm being hard right now, but pause. 
I'm grading them a little toughly, knowing that everybody be walking right in. Okay. Egg needs Elemental. Trainers want that dress. It's on his way around now, you see? We'll happily wait, no problem. Okay, okay, y'all handle them this rather well. Moments later, Sonny Poole, the director of Want That Dress, arrives at the house. I ain't gonna lie, man, Sonny Poole is on business. He almost knocked over the garbage, man. Look how he walking up. Okay, Sonny, is that? Where's your brick, mate? Okay, baby, make up the sacks, man. Let me walk my fold, and we'll deal with it. There you go, mate. There's a copy of the right there. Look. Yep, you can look it in my hands, yeah? Cool. <laughs> Why can't... It's his copy. See? This is what I mean. He trying to hold on to the little power that he got. Talking about some... Oh, you can look at it in my hands. No, that's his copy of the ring. Give it to him. <sighs> Egg Media UK Limited, mate. Yes, that's right. It's not me, is it? I'm not saying it's you, but you're the director of Egg Media UK I used to work there, yeah. I'm not yeah. the shareholder. I just work okay. there. So why are you at my house? You're the director. You're the director of the company, mate. We have done checks. Yeah, I am a director. There you go then. So you're not a shareholder, yeah? You are a director of the company. Yes, I am. So why Perfect. You, you owe 45,000. The company owes 45,673 pounds. So the position you're in now, unless, the, unless this debt is paid, we're going to be doing a thorough search of this property, looking for assets that are owned by Ag Media Limited. Okay. Okay. And then once we do find uh, those items, they will be removed and sold at the public auction. Ag Media has never operated from this address. <coughs> it never will operate from this address. I'm okay. the director. I don't own it. Okay. So you okay. need to leave now. We won't be leaving, mate. I, I got a reason to believe that Ag Media have got interest in, in items within this property. Oh, is this the dude that was training? This is this the dude that was training all those times? And on what grounds? Frank, you are, they're trading from this address, yeah. but we're not. Are you refusing to pay this, mate? What? Are you refusing to pay it? Yes. Yeah. There we go. He did pull up in the Audi. Get the clamping. As Sonny refuses to pay, the agents have the right to seize goods belonging to want that dress to offset the debt. As the expensive white BMW parked... Oh, that's a BMW? My bad. ...in the drive could be owned by the business, Craig decides to clamp it. Next, the agents look inside the house for other business assets they could seize. Gareth finds stock labelled Egg Media in a bedroom. Sonny, I got another question for you, mate. If Egg Media got no interest in this property at all, yeah. why is there stock here from Egg Media? That's not stock here. That's just a box that was used to sense. It's more proof again, mate. I honestly think he's lying to us, yeah? With evidence... Ma That's a nice couch that Egg Media are trading from Sonny's home address, Gareth puts the pressure on. Three weeks ago we made a visit. You've had a chance to sell some stuff or sell some stock. You bury your head on it. Of course I bury my head on it. That's what you do, it? I didn't really get the story. <laughs> that ain't what you do. What happens? I used to send all that stuff out. Right. And I've probably lost about 1,900 to 100 grand worth of stuff. Not in their system. Right. Which means we had to then use our own money to send all that stuff back out. So we were fucked. And then they sent us a bill for doing it. Just then, Sonny's aunt and uncle arrive. We here now try to collect. Oh my God, it's not even mom and dad. So aunt, aunt, auntie and uncle, they definitely be on BS. They from the defend their nephew to the to the to the to the ground, ain't they? Forty-five thousand six hundred seventy-three pounds. Or we are going to start the removal process. Okay. So, I'm so not it, promising miracles, by the way. <laughs> Okay, she was fairly nice. Mm. But then, despite Sonny's insistence that none of the possessions in his home are linked to the business, he grabs a laptop and gives it to his auntie. If you take that, if you take that as a criminal offence, or that's not it's mine. Okay, yeah. well, you, you need to show us what it is. Yeah, it's upstairs. Wait. Take the laptop, all right? So I've, I've already listed that. If you take that, you... okay. <laughs> Yeah, let's not impl implicate your auntie into this. Ill nephew. Sonny, with the greatest respect, mate, right? S Sonny, if that wasn't owned by Egg Media, why are you, ask why are you asking her to take it? Okay, okay. Yeah. If you could prove to us it wasn't owned by Egg Media, yeah. you're a left, you're a left or a no. With Sonny still not cooperating, Gareth and Craig continue to look for proof that his company is trading from his home address. 
well. They find Egg Media's bank statements. Sonny, yeah. question for you. So the 21st of March had £13,000 in the bank of Egg Media Limited. Where's that gone, mate? Um, just spent on direct debits and shit. Again, if Egg Media have nothing to do with this property whatsoever, yeah. why is the bank statement here? Despite his dinner. Sonny! It's looking real, real, real dark for you, buddy. Miles, the agents are confident that Sonny's company is trading from his home address. But then Sonny's uncle shows them evidence that his car is on finance and can't be seized. Sorry. Uh, that be there? Yep. Cool. It's great. Thanks, mate. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With the car out of bounds, the agents have to think on their feet. I feel like these are some true rookies because wouldn't they normally call and get it checked? Not just trust their word? Well, no, right? If they got the proper paperwork or whatever. Sonny, yeah? if we give you 30 days to pay this off, are you able to give a down payment today? You need to play ball with us to be able to do that. Yeah? But how much is the down payment? Gareth calls the office to see what payment they'll accept today. It's a massive debt, isn't it? It's 45 grand. If you can get a couple of grand by Friday, yeah. it shows his commitment, shows he's serious about it. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can get a 30-day yes. um, and then we'll see what we can do. Okay, cool. Gareth put... Just a couple? That seemed light. Everybody else would have listened. Brian, Brian would have said, hey, I need 30, 25, full amount. You know what I'm the deal to Sonny. A £2,000 down payment by Friday, three instalments of £500, and the remaining balance in 30 days. So what they're saying is if they're still looking for a down payment from you, yeah? yeah. With a down payment, look, they're, they're thinking, oh, yeah, he's taking a serious, he will pay at the end of the month. Okay. Sonny's haircut is telling me he's not trying to pay this at all, ever. Probably Sonny agrees to the deal, but if he defaults, the agents will be back. Thank you, buddy. Hopefully, you won't see each other again, eh, mate? All right. Okay. Job done. Cheers, eh? Thanks, all. Cheers, Tara. The case is over. Yeah, they could have gave them a better intro to the show. Uh, for now. This was light. This debt isn't, it's not, it's not relevant to, to what I'm doing. It, it's, it's a small fish. It's another hurdle and I've been overcoming them since I left school and I'll overcome them again. This isn't the first, it certainly won't be the last. Did bro just say this debt is a small fish? You know what? I ain't even mad at you, brother. You making real money out here if this is small to you. Sonny might appear to be out of the woods. But then two weeks later, the agents are forced to return. And this time, the case takes a very unexpected twist. Again, again. Don't touch it, mate. Don't touch it. Sonny had the blicks? These gotta be like pellet guns, though, for sure. But still. High Court enforcement agents Gareth Short and Craig Vernal were in Worcester to collect a debt of over £45,000 owed by Egg Media Limited, trading as Want That Dress. The company owes £45,673. Company director Sonny Poole said he couldn't pay the debt. Are you refusing to pay it? Yes. And claimed he wasn't trading from home. Egg Media has never operated from this stress, <coughs> he never will operate from this stress but the agents found evidence that suggested otherwise. Why is this stock here from Ag Media? Sonny then agreed to pay an initial £2,000 and the agents set up a payment plan for the rest of the debt. But Sonny has defaulted and now, two weeks later, Gareth and Craig are back. I would think if you got that type of... Even if they're like replica or, or disabled, 
If you got that type of stuff on at your crib, at your dwelling, I wouldn't even want people to be around. You know what I'm saying? Sonny, you gonna open the door to speak to us, mate? You wanna deal with us? He's dressed in a dressing gown. And he's just refusing to deal with us. With Sonny refusing to talk, Gareth and Craig decide to look around the property for goods they can seize to offset the £45,000 debt. So we found paperwork in here that's got one that dress on it. So you can guess in, all the clothing here oh, inventory. is owned by the debt company. So if needs be, we can lift this. Inside the garage, the agents find trading receipts for the business. Sonny is clearly still trading from the address. Selling a lot of dresses, mate. Let's do a quick calculation here, right? One, two, three, four. 400 quid's worth just there. It's the most annoying side of this. You just don't want to pay, I told y'all. Bro had a hot, a mid taper with a lot of hair on top. You're not trying to pay that. He out here like Johnny Bravo. You don't want to pay y'all? Job is finding a debtor who you know can pay it, just refuses to pay it. You've got to try and find something else that will push the debtor's button to make them engage with you. The company is 100% still trading. Of course it is, isn't it? Gareth and Craig's patience has run out. They now start removing the dresses and boxes of stock from his garage. Right, I'm going to need some help. Thousands and thousands of dresses cram-packed into boxes. Mm -hmm. Cheers, mate. Thanks, pal. The agents know the content. At what point in Sonny's head is he not looking through the window like, bro, they're in the garage. I know I got something in there that's not supposed to be in there. ...won't clear the £45,000 debt, but hope this shock tactic may be the motivator that makes Sonny pay. Oh, my God. But then, at the back of the garage, Gareth makes a shocking discovery. Gun. Police, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't touch it, mate. Don't touch it. Just give it. Oh, put it down. Hi there. Come on. You can tell they've never seen nothing like this. High court enforcement agent. The re what does he do? Immediately pick it up. Put put his fingerprints on it. He's my call. Just located four what looked to be four guns. This. Uh, you know. Who is Sonny gearing up for? I wish certainly wouldn't have thought he should be in possession of this. These are definitely not real, though. I can tell by how he's holding it right now that that got it too much. It's too light. <clears throat> it don't got enough weight on it. Thank you very much. I've never seen anything like Moments later, the police arrive. That's a BB gun, that one. BB gun. BB totally. guns are legal airsoft weapons. <sighs> Is it really? Yeah, so yeah. It's a bit heavy, that's the last one we're going to see. They made them out of metal quite a lot, so they look real. Yeah, that's what we thought we were. That's ridiculous, really, isn't it? That is also a BB gun. But it looks real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would he want all these guns? Some people just like them. Yeah, it's a hobby. All safe. Oh, yeah. Soft you probably, plastic balls. So you probably wasted the time, really. Yeah? No, you haven't wasted the time. Oh, yeah, no way that those are real. <clears throat> Thing is, they could have been real, but they're not. Satisfied, the guns are harmless. The police leave. The agents carry on removing goods, but then Gareth receives a call from the office, who've been relaying events to the claimant. DCBL. Yeah. Hello. Hello, John. Uh, yeah, you okay, John? What do, you want, what do you want us to do, mate? Just pull off, is it? Yeah. I believe so. There's nowhere else we can deal with it. Cheers, John. Cheers, mate. It's bad news. Johnny Bravo won. I told you. Hey, listen. Told you he'd never plant to pay y'all. The claimant doesn't want the assets as part payment for the debt and won't give the agents permission to seize them. Craig. Are we going to pull off? Because the client won't give up. Well, if that's the case, then it's game over. But... 
the agents have no choice but to return the stock. They gotta put them back in the garage too? How humiliating. <laughs> to Sonny's garage. So I'm leaving here today now feeling exactly the same as I did last time, which is uh, very frustrated. Um, our hands are tied, to be honest with you. There was nothing really Sunny to feeling victorious. <laughs> it will be up to the client now to decide whether to take further action. Yeah, man, they did a whole lot of rookie stuff. You think Paul and Steve would have been doing all that? Absolutely not. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Sixty percent of small and medium-sized businesses in the UK are experiencing increased operating costs and believe it's having a negative impact on their cash flow. Seventy percent of company owners have used loans to prop up their businesses and for many it's come at a huge personal cost. A recent a re hold on now, dang. A recent survey revealed that 80% of business owners say that they are affected by stress, anxiety, or depression. Yeah. Being a business owner, being an entrepreneur, being not a non-nine-to-fiver trying to make your own way is very stressful. You never know what's going on month to month. Father and son team Dell and Dale Anglin are back on the road again. This time in East London with a rip. Okay. What is this, a Dell and rookie episode? Like, are we going to do some veterans? To collect a large debt from an Indian restaurant. Looking for a high iridium limited total sum. We're looking for £22,125.95. The debt arose after the company that runs the restaurant, High Iridium Service Limited, were evicted. I said Dell and rookies. Not Dell's a rookie. I separated Dell. Evicted <laughs> from their previous premises. The owner of the restaurant, Mr. Hygiene Paneer, took his landlord to court, claiming the eviction was unfair. Mr. Paneer lost his case, and now he has to pay legal fees and court costs. Dosa corner. See you there? Yeah. Uh, apparently that's it. Never stay where you're not wanted. Taking it to court is ridiculous. Just, you know, take the time that it however much time it takes to get your stuff out there or however much time you can stretch and then leave. Why be uncomfortable? If Mr. Pania can't or won't pay today, the agents have the right to seize goods from the business to offset the £22,000 debt. Hello, mate. Is the owner or director here? No, he's not here. Uh, can we get him on the phone? No. Okay, it's him. Hello? Oh. I've got a high court writ for High Iridium Limited. He's actually a Hold on, um, part of the fight, Cheers, mate. Minutes later, Mr. Pania arrives. Hello, how you doing? Hi, good, thank you. Hi, John. Hi, John. Hi, Jean. Hi, Jean. How are you doing, sir? Are you okay? Yeah, good, thanks. Fantastic. Take This for money's owed. It's uh, twenty-two thousand one hundred and twenty-five pounds now. What needs to be done if I don't? We need to pay twenty-two thousand one hundred and twenty-five pounds and ninety-five pence. Okay, That's that veteran presence. That's that veteran presence that I'll be looking for. Bro said, what can we do if I can't pay this? Dale looked at the paper, said, we need to pay $22,000. See, that's the type of, you know, that's the energy that I'm looking for, you know? The issue is, Arjun, that we, we need to collect this money. With Mr. Paneer <laughs> saying he can't pay, the agents may have to seize the fixtures and fittings in the restaurant to pay off the debt. But Mr. Paneer thinks he has proof that the assets here don't belong to him and can't be seized. His friend Martin steps in to listen. Premium will be paid in five monthly installments starting 1st December 2015. The five monthly installment is the goods which has been purchased for this place. Mr. Paneer shows the agents his lease. He claims he's making monthly payments to his current landlord to purchase the fixtures and fittings in the restaurant from him. Man. He claims that he doesn't own them outright, but Dale is suspicious. 
At the end of the day, if I'm buying something of someone, I'd want a receipt or an invoice or something, yeah, with the terms on it and a list of what I'm buying. Surely you would have that. Because I'm a bit stressed out. I couldn't find where exactly it says that. The lease shows that Mr. Paneer has been making payments to his landlord, but there's no mention of the purchase of fixtures and fittings in the document. The payments appear to be solely for the rent. With no and this is the difference between real veterans and whatever they was doing at the last place. No proof to the contrary, Dell and Dale believe that the assets belong to the company named on the writ and could be seized. They ramp up the pressure. What you should be doing is putting your time, stressed or not, to finding out how we're going to get this money. If we start removing goods, we're going to be at the... Talk to him, Dale. The bill will go up if we have to start removing goods. I can pay you hundred pounds. That's what I can do right now through the bank. Bro, what is a hundred dollars going to do in a pool of twenty-two thousand dollars? Like, what are you talking about? I find quite that is disrespectful. I insult that you suffered us hundred pounds for a twenty-two thousand pound debt. Straight up. Now that is very insulting. No, it's when you've got two businesses running. Okay, give me like ten minutes or so. Let me discuss with him. Let me see who can help. Well, take your ten minutes. Put it to good use. Okay. Because in ten minutes' time, I will start making calls myself. The clock is ticking. That's some if type Mr. of nerve. If doesn't come up with an acceptable offer, the agents will be full. Imagine, imagine, I'm talking to you. Imagine I owe you $30,000. And you like, bro, man, you got anything for me? And, I'm t and I tell you I got $30. You want to do something to me right there in that moment. <laughs> That's tough. To remove assets from the restaurant putting his business at serious risk. He's under pressure, look. If we took a course of action that involves removal, he is going to be out of business. There isn't another way of putting it. He's just got to find some money. The debt's too large. He's just got to, he's got to dig deep. Ten minutes later, Mr. Paneer has a new offer. Just call a few people. This I could get up at the moment is around thousand pounds, thousand thousand five hundred pounds. One thousand five hundred. One thousand five hundred pounds. That's the maximum we get now, right now. Okay, that's not going to be enough. <laughs> Look at that, Look at that, bro. <laughs> he said, "Hey." Hey, stop playing with me, bro. What, 1500 You owe $22,000. Okay. His son cannot stand, bro. That's not going to be enough. <laughs> Where are we at? Do you want to go to your office? Don't take a minute. Go on. I'm not trying to laugh at, bro, because it's a, it's a, it's a tough situation, but his son face is killing me. Dell and Dale give Mr. Paneer time to think about his situation. In the event that he cannot raise enough funds to make an arrangement or to clear the debt, he will lose his business. He will remove. He's been left in no doubt about that. Dale calls for backup to help him and Dell remove the heavy kitchen equipment if Mr. Paneer doesn't raise his offer. And we'll have no choice. We'll have to take stuff today. When the agents return, Mr. Paneer shows Dell a new document on his phone. It's a list of fixtures and fittings sent from his solicitor, which he claims he's buying in installments from his landlord. Walk-in cold room, walk-in freezer, two standing freezer, one standing fridge, one prep counter, two sinks, one tandoor. This is a prep counter, yeah? All this, all this combines prep down area because they prepare here for... for the fact that's area. not that, that's not that. It's a refrigerated prep counter, it says. So that's not that. That's not in it. That's not in it. The list doesn't seem to correspond to the items in the kitchen. Nor do Bro went on Google.com and searched up a list of kitchen items and showed this man. Does it prove that they don't belong to Mr. Paneer's company, High Iridium Service Limited? Dell's patience has yeah, run out. Yeah, I'd be done. You tell lies. Okay, so I'll tell you what, right? Unless you come with a significant amount of money. I mean, what do you want me to do? I, I want, want you to pay. I pay the bill. No, I mean, but 
what do you what do you expect me to do? I won't Pay the bill. have any sources to do that. You've been taking the mickey out of us. Mr. Panea has run out of excuses. The agent's only option now is to remove the assets from the restaurant. It's nice stuff too. Dang the van there. Dale's backup arrives. High Court Enforcement Agents, Brian O'Shaughnessy and Graham Aldred. Here we go. What paper is my It's just a list. No, 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 four, no, 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 14 no, tables. No, 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 one fridge, one fridge. The team be- Old partner Brian. Begin <laughs> to remove goods from the restaurant. Yeah, it's turned off. It's turned off, everything turned off. A lorry arrives. Oh my god, this is getting real. They done pulled the lorry out. Not the lorry with the with the slide back curtain so they can get it right in there from the side. That is tough. This is an optimal loading lorry. And then it's on bro it's like a stage. So they finna do this right in front of everybody, an audience. To remove the goods. But Mr. Panea seems to have disappeared. But just as the lorry is being loaded, a member of staff approaches the agents. For what? Yeah, he just called it. He said he's gonna he's, he's, uh, raise the money and he's gonna come. If he comes for the money, you'll put it back in. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. It seems. Well, now you gotta pay for these people that came out. That Mr. Panea is willing to make another offer to save his. Dang, he got the electric thing too to make it real easy. Business. As an enforcement agent, when you start removing goods, um, action begets reaction. Things start to happen. You generate activity. People start running around a little bit harder, making more phone calls to try and get the money. Half an hour 100%. later, Mr. Panea returns. Try to How much money do you have there? How much money did you manage to get there? Yeah, is he hitting it? £3,500. Are we gonna give them a break or is that that's still not enough? But are we gonna give that man a break? Because he's genuinely really I can't even say genuinely really trying because he did just try them for 20, 40 minutes. You, know. you, you can't get any more. Mr. Panea has raised just three thousand five hundred pounds. But it's still not enough to stop the enforcement action. That's not even going to cover the the, 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 the the lorry. Dell gives Mr. Paneer an ultimatum. Dang, they're packing it good too, so it ain't going to be no extra movement. Pay £6,000 or lose his business. The van is here. The auctioneers and so forth and so forth and so forth. You just need to get to six. That's my last call. In fact, you've already, you know, given me. I do not, I cannot make any calls. You have to get to see. I don't need to see anything. I just need you to get. Just then, Mr. Paneer receives a call. Okay. Altogether, I can get 5,000. That's the maximum I can get. He has 3,500 pounds in cash. And offers to pay fifteen hundred pounds on a debit card. I mean, all right, that's doable, right? Obviously. Yeah, will we? The agents accept the offer. Brian will finish that off. Let's just get this stuff off. I wonder if the restaurant got good food. Mr. Paneer agrees to pay the rest of the balance on a payment plan. All you need is Keith Lee to come in there and try it out, and he gonna let us know. If it's good or not, once Keith Lee hit it, boom, all your debts is paid. Now they've secured payment, everything has to come off the lorry. That's annoying. You'll be getting Let's the leave form, it here. so don't worry, we'll be giving it to you. Dell and Dale have got a result in a difficult situation. But in Gareth and Craig's next case... <laughs> These rookies. Oh man, they're trying to give us the free We don't want it. There we go. Last year, research revealed that 30% of UK retirees found themselves in debt, owing an average amount of nearly £35,000. One in ten had debts totaling over £100,000. 
That's the crazy thing, man. That's that's what the world wants us to do. Work 65 plus years of our life for a company, retire with X amount of dollars that's really not enough, and then go live out the rest of our life at 65? No way, buddy. That's why I, I can't do it. Sorry. The total debt of UK retirees is estimated to reach 2.6 billion. High Court enforcement agents Gareth Short and Craig Vernal are in Oxfordshire to collect nearly £4,000 owed to a firm of solicitors. Where are we off to there, mate? Uh, Into Oxford. Owed to Vernal are in Oxfordshire to collect nearly £4,000 owed to a firm of solicitors. Where are we off to there, mate? Uh, Into Oxford. Uh, I'm going to see uh, a Annie Langley. It's quite a big sum of money owed to a, a law firm, a solicitor company. Uh, we are looking to collect just short of £3,900. The debtor, Annie Langley, was taken to court by the company after she failed to pay their fees for a compensation case following a car accident. Why would the company not just take the, take the money out right away? I don't know how that works because I've never had a court case like this. I would think they take the money out right away. Then as soon as they win, they get the judgment. They go to them first, then to you. The solicitors escalated the case to the high court, and Mrs. Langley must pay in full today. Voices inside. Hey there. Hello. Look for Annie Langley, please. That's me. That's you, yes? Yes. High Court Enforcement. Who? High Court Enforcement. Come in a minute. Okay, thank you. So what do you want what are you after? It's to do with a High Court warrant that's been issued. It's High Court writ. You can go and take the running jump. Okay, Mrs. Langley, should we explain where we are coming from? Okay. Okay. The solicitors. <laughs> oh, no, she out here keeping it pee. No comment. It's been his issued. It's high court writ. It. You can go and take a running jump. Okay, Mrs. Langley, should we explain? You can go take a running jump. Where are we coming from? You can pee off them. Okay. Not okay. The Talk to him. Talk to him, Annie. Solicitors, I've gone to the county court and I've obtained a county court judgment against you. They've now escalated it up to the High Court, and the High Court have issued them with a writ. The balance at the moment stands at three thousand eight hundred and forty-seven pounds. He's eighty-four. I'm nearly seventy. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. Has done sweet efforts. Okay, for me. Miss, we, we appreciate the predicament you're in at the moment, and you're saying they've done nothing for you. They've done nothing okay. at all. They sent me a few lazy letters. But unfortunately, so. they've gone to court, which means you've got a writ. Despite her dispute with the solicitors, <laughs> Mrs. L Hey, Dwayne, listen. The way, the way world, chill, man. Angley, don't worry about my Instagram activities, my boy. Must pay today, or her mm -hmm. possessions are at risk. Take what you want. But we don't want it to come to that. Well, we ain't got the money, so you've got no other choice unless no, you want to arrest me. No, no, all we get is our lazy pension every week, and we have to pay rent, council tax, water rates, gas, light. Mrs. Langan, do you appreciate the severity of this? No, she doesn't. She doesn't care. She's had enough. You know what I'm saying? Ma'am is about 80 years old. She's been through every piece of life. She's at her ropes end. Right. Does not care what you're talking about. I do. You, you just seem to... Okay, I appreciate... Let me up the yeah. garden path saying I was entitled to this, I was mm -hmm. entitled to that. Okay. And at the end of the day, now they're looking for three grand off me for not paying the I appreciate you may not agree with it, but unfortunately, the judge has agreed that you owe this money and needs to be paid. And the last thing we want to do is start to remove your goods. Just take what you want and feck off, all right? <laughs> <laughs> the language now. Well, then you piss take. Come in frightening old people. I don't take it personal if an elderly person is what rude to me, but it's something you just need to take. It's part of the job. Just just let them, let them vent the anger. She's on smoke. And then deal with them afterwards. Unfortunately, there needs to be a conclusion to this today, look. Like. No, I've got any solutions, have you? You haven't got any money to pay. No. 
we're not going to come into any money over the night, are we? Well, you three grants for nothing. A few old lazy lepers and being led up the garden path and being gone. And then they got the cheap to look for three thousand pen off me. It's clear that what are they gonna do? Bankrupt this lady? Like she don't care. But Mrs. Langley can't afford to pay the three thousand eight hundred pound debt in one go. The agent's only option is to try and negotiate a payment plan. Give them, give them, give them hell, ma'am. Tell them no. We need to speak to the solicitors involved and and see what they're willing to accept. And we need to try and work between the both of you to come to a happy medium where that you can afford to repay it and they are happy with the payments that are being made. What you see is what you feel. All I can hear is £10 a month. Talk to him. There it is. £10 a month, $3,000. Let me do some math. Hold on. Ten pounds a month is twelve. The ten ten times twelve equal that's a hundred and twenty. <laughs> that's a hundred and twenty dollars. Hey, wait, she is cutting up a hundred twenty divided by. That's it's twenty five years to pay off at that rate. Ma'am is about eighty. I ain't gonna say it, but y'all know what I'm thinking. Like, it ain't even gonna get to that place. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mrs. Langley's offer of $10, $10 a month means it would take over 32 years to pay off the debt. Oh, with, 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 with interest. That wouldn't be accepted. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate that. But that, that would take 380 months to clear. <laughs> so you're probably looking to clear that debt. Hey, she knew it. She said, hey, listen, I ain't have to say it. She was going to say it for me. I love this lady. That's funny. We're probably looking to clear that debt over about six months, not 380. That is coming to be. You can't, no. That's what I said, take what you want. Nothing's come to that value in here anyway. A lot of people think the elderly got money. Yeah, man, y'all just, just let it go. Yeah, I'm not gonna get nothing out of this one. But nine times out of ten, the people that we deal with have got no money at all. They're living off their state pension. They can't afford to, to live a daily life, never so, mind pay off a debt. It's clear to the agents that the couple are living on the breadline and that paying off their nearly four thousand pound debt is impossible. I think they're struggling. I don't feel comfortable taking. I'm just worried I'd clear that over six months. Six hundred pound a month. Yeah, it's just not gonna happen. No, I just, I just ruin them. They lose a house and everything. They're not willing to do that. That's not a chance. Yeah, good guys, good guys. Just get on up out of there, man. Take your ills and just go to the next one. Gareth tries to find out how the debt built up in the first place. She already told us. We had an accident, and they rang up and said that we were entitled to seven thousand pound or something. Never, never. If a solicitor rings you, don't ever do it. Ring your own solicitors. Right, okay. And my son was a little boy. Yeah. He was in the car at the time. He's only two men. Oh, and he was ringing, ringing him as if he was an animal. Ah, uh, right, okay. And we do. Stopped dealing with it, and that, because of that, that's built up. And just built up and built up. We haven't done any. No, no. Just being, being pressurized all the time to pay something. And we do. As the couple have no means to pay yeah, the debt, it's over. Craig calls the office. The offer that they've been able to put forward is initially ten pounds a month, um, and I think there's no a visible assets that we can levy against Craig. No, there's, there's, there's nothing, nothing, no Absolutely assets at all nothing. significant to this debt. All right, Paul, well, yep. I know it's frustrating, but yeah. You know, Who is that on the phone? That's what's his name. He didn't got a promotion, huh? That's why he ain't out here. Nothing you can do. No, 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 it's, it's the best option, mate. It's the best option all around. All right, mate. Cheers, no, Ed. That, Craig. Thanks, Cheers, mate. Bye-bye. Bye. The office have advised Craig that they have no option but to... Talking about the office. We know who that was. I can't think of his name right now, but we know who that was. Drop the case. We've, um, I've spoken to our office. 
Um, given the, the circumstances, uh, I think there's a vulnerability issue here within the fact that you're both um, pensioners claiming a, a pension. Um, so we're going to be pulling off at the moment, all right, and withdrawing from, from the job. We are not going to, certainly not going to be removing anything from you, okay, given... No. This is like, this, she going to fight to the end. She ain't even heard what you said. She just said, listen, get out. Mrs. Lang, my advice to you, though, is do get to the bottom of it. Otherwise, you will get somebody else just knocking your door in the future. And good luck with it, all right? Take care, Mrs. Lang. Thank you. Bye-bye. I believe Miss Langley is okay with taking this one to the afterlife. You hear me saying? With one of the ones I pulled at my heartstrings the most. I think we've done the right thing here, right? We get a wrap up. Gemma Moore's mother has kept up to her. Okay. All right. Sonny Poole failed to make a payment against his reason. The case is now closed, of course. Johnny Bravo had never had any attention. That's good. That's good. All in all, we got good results. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm gone.